Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Tuesday, May 14th. Stocks made new highs yesterday. We had some quiet action and the dollar really strengthened. So we saw the E-mini S&P post new highs at 1633. It closed at 1630 and three quarters, up one and a quarter on only a 12 point range between the high and the low. Dow futures were also stuck within a range 57 points, it closed at 15,057, down 11. And the Nasdaq was up five and a half at 29.81. The euro currency also had some quiet action, a 59 point range between its high and low, closed at 129.73, down 13, as the dollar index rallied new relative highs here. Uh, 83.45 was yesterday's high, 83.37 was the close, up 13. That's the highest levels that we've seen since August. Looking at the bond market, continuing to drift lower after having that breakout on that 147 to 149 channel, targeting 145, exceeded that yesterday, got below 144, I'm sorry, got below down to 144.20, down 12. Crude oil was now off 87 cents with its stronger dollar at 95.17, having very, very difficult time getting above 97 to that full retracement at 98. Looking at gold, gold is off about two dollars after the after the sell-off on Friday. 1434 again fighting that stronger dollar. So after new highs again yesterday, where do things stand on this Tuesday morning to start a new trading day? Well, we're off about two points in the EMEA S&P right now at 1629. Dow futures are down 28 and the Nasdaq's off six and a half at 2974 and a half. The euro currency is drifting 129.60. Again, the euro has been trading between 132 and 128 for really the last month. And we're kind of in the middle of that action as we stand right now. Even though the dollar continues to hold strong, we're at 83.32 on the dollar. Uh, again, the highs from August are at 84. That's a key resistance. That's a multi-year high that we'll want to focus on in the dollar index at 84. Bonds are steady right now, 144.30, up about 10 points. The yield on the 30-year Treasury has jumped over the last couple of weeks. We're at 3.11% on the 30-year after breaking through that yield resistance at 3%. Looking at crude oil, we're down 50 cents right now at 94.61, and gold is off 11 at 14.23 with that 14.45, 14.50 pivot level up above to keep an eye on. So to wrap up the action on this Tuesday morning, right now we're about down two points in the S&P futures and down 28 in the Dow futures as the dollar continues to strengthen and hurt other commodities markets. I will see you Thursday for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.